Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can calculate the month over month change. So what I have in front of you is basically the different months and the distinct order IDs or the order that has been received in a particular month. For example, you are a retail chain and you are receiving let's say 48 orders. You are, In Fab you are receiving 45 orders. In March you are receiving 86 orders. So basically you can then calculate whether you are improving month on month or you are declining. Similarly, this is a retail example, but another example can be in the IT industry where let's say in Jan, you got 48 incidents. In Fab, you got 45 incidents, but in March, incidents jumped to 86. So you want to understand whether the incidents are increasing, decreasing as an IT manager, you know, you can then, you know, do a research and figure out what's the action plan. So that's basically analysis, which I want to show you how you can very easily do that. So before I do uh, that analysis or show you the calculation, just a quick information about if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about this uh, Google Sheet where I keep all of my videos. And here, if you see all my videos are present up until this row and uh, title is present over here and link is present in column B. That way you can easily search any of my videos and uh, with the title and Put, jump onto that video using the column link present in column B, similar to these folks who are utilizing this. So that's just to help you uh, to explore more and more about my content and all of these tips and tricks and how to videos that I produce. All right, let's go back to Power BI. So here we are in Power BI. So first thing which I will do is I will going to create a new measure. And in this new measure, what I will going to write is basically the previous month because we know the current month value is already there. Let's say in this case, fab, we know 45. The only thing we need to do is we need to bring 48 to the same, same level of 45 so that I can do calculation. So that's why I'm creating this formula for, uh, for previous month. And that is basically using the calculate function. And I will say distinct count. And in the distinct count, I will have my order ID because I want the distinct count of order ID since order ID is present multiple times in a row. Okay. And then I will use the date add function in the date add function. I will have to specify the date, right? Because it is related to month and in the date at first parameter is the dates, dates on which you want to do the calculation. Then the number of intervals is minus one. We want to go one period back or one interval back. And then over here, I specify month, right? which is a th uh, next parameter and I close the calculate function as well. Now, if I show you in this table, when I have this table and I bring the previous month over here, uh, down below, you will see that in front of fab, you have 45 for current month, but for previous month, you have 48, which is the gen, right? In case of March, you have 86 as current month value, but 45 is the previous month value, which is 45. Now I can do the calculation between these two values and produce the change. The way I can do that is by clicking again a new measure. So the new measure will going to basically create a change percentage and that is a standard formula. So month on month is equals to MON or MOM percentage, whatever you like, you can create a calculation. Oop, it looks like I accidentally hit enter. Let's just give it a second um, so that you know, it, it allows me to do the work again. Okay, so MOM and uh, I use the divide and the formula which you should already know uh, for this is uh, you have the distinct count of the order ID that is for current month, right? Minus the previous month, right? So this is 45, this is uh, 48, right? Comma divide by previous month. So previous month is a second parameter and I close it. So that's how your divide function you can utilize and you have the MOM and I change this to a percentage. So that way when I drag it, you will see the proper percentages. And if I do that now, you see you have the percentage. So this is basically 2018 value what I'm getting it in front of here. But let's start from here 45 to 48. Uh, this is a slightly less number, but from 45 to 86, it has jumped a lot. So 91% from 86 to 89, slight improvement. So 3.49, but from 89 to 108, 
it is a big improvement. So that's how you can basically go and calculate the month over month change very easily. And you can see that it is following a good order. For example, when here the month, is, the year is changing, right? From 176 to 69, but your 176 is coming here and it is basically allowing you to calculate the month on month percentage change. So this can be, uh, this will be something which will be helpful for you uh, for all your month on month needs and get the best out. With that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.